Hello there, friends, and welcome back to Animal Crossing New Leaf. We are on the search for Bob on this beautiful day here in the town of Lorien with Mayor Marilee. He asked us for a tiger butterfly earlier. We were able to catch one, so we got to find him so we can give it to him. We have a few other things to do around town as well, and later in the episode, we will be visiting another viewer's dream address, so make sure you stick around for that. It's going to be super fun. Now, where did Bob go? <laughs> we saw him around here earlier. We gotta give him this butterfly. Ah, there he is, Bob! Hey there, look at us bumping into each other again, cool cat. What can I do for you? I brought a bug. It's a tiger butterfly for you. Wow, I didn't think you'd actually bring me one. This is great, cool cat. Oh right, here's a gift to say thanks. Thanks, Bob. It's a tulip tea. Hope you like it. Thanks again for your help, Bell M. Maybe I'll bug you for help again sometime. Think that pun was intended? <laughs> that was super fun. So I've been watering our little flowers that we got off the beach from our friend Lou the other day. They haven't spread yet. <laughs> Let's see what this tulip tea looks like that Bob just gave us. Oh, that's pretty cute. Nice for spring, but we're going to keep on this cute dress we found. Uh, we've been able to do some visiting in other towns, and they have bigger and better nook stores than we do. <laughs> uh, some of them including Gracie Grace, so we were able to get this cute cake dress. Uh, which I'm wearing around right now. Cole, what's going on? I've decided to follow my dream of trying new foods that we don't have in Lorien. That's why I'll be moving to a new town on the 8th of next month. Aw, Cole. I hope you'll see me off. I don't. <laughs> the choices here are always so dramatic. Have a nice life. I love Cole. He's so cute, but we always like to get new friends in town, so we're going to tell him to have a nice life. Thanks for everything. It was nice knowing you. But you should remember one thing. A town without me is like a feast without fish and chips. Sad and hungry, my guy. Aw, Cole, you're so sweet. All right, well, Cole's going to be moving, and this is his house here, so this one in front of Town Hall is going to be going away. We'll probably try to lay something down so no more houses come in here. I'm still a little irritated that Tutu moved in right in that spot, but there's nothing we can do about it now, so we're just going to roll with it. Hello, Marilee. You seem chipper as always. How can I help you? Want to chat? Do you think I could visit your house sometime, Marilee? I just like seeing how everyone else in town lives. You learn a lot that way. Now's not a good time, Sky. I'm sorry. I see. I guess it was rude of me to just invite myself over. We can do it another time. I look forward to it. We can, Sky. Normally, I'm, I'm okay with that, but we have stuff to do. We have to find... Have I already found the money rock today? <laughs> I think I might have already found the money rock today. I've got the last lemon tree planted over here in front of Brewster's Cafe. And we are going to try to pay some more of this off today. So we're going to see how much money we can get. We're actually going to start collecting up some of this fruit that we can sell for money. We have started a nice little orchard right over next to Reese's shop, which is going to be super convenient. And we already had some stuff in our pockets, which is going to make this take a minute. I had a lot of tools out, so we were catching bugs and chopping some trees and all that good stuff. And what's all this? We've got a modern wood table. We bought the mini circuit from <laughs> Reese's. It was from Deirdre's house, so she got that out of her house, which is good. Oh, guys, the saber tooth model. We need to take that up to the museum. Uh, we're going to put it in one of the rooms there for now until we find a better place to display it. The other thing that we're going to try to pay towards a little bit today is getting another room in our house because we're starting to get quite a lot of stuff and we need room to put it. Uh, we've even opened all four exhibit rooms in the museum and we've got stuff in all of them. Oh no, what happened here? Oh, I think Red's tent was here yesterday. And when the tents come in, they do knock out our cute little path. So we're going to have to put that back. We'll take a minute to run up here and see what's going on in the campsite today. 
Let's see. Looks like we got Nat's RV and we don't need anything from that. The little grocery bag is cute and the flag also cute. But again, we're, we're so low on space right now. Anything that we'll be able to get later, I'm going to wait and get later. <laughs> so let's actually run up to the museum now because I did already take up our fossils for the day. I ran around a little bit this morning. Hi, Harry. We haven't talked to you yet. Hey, Marilee, you know that time capsule I had you bury? I think it's about time you dug that sucker back up already. Okay. Um, Harry, where's your house? Wait, okay, his house is down here. So we took a suggestion from the comments and started burying the time capsules right behind <laughs> the villagers' houses. And look, guys, we got one of the cute little red and white toadstools. I was so happy when I saw it. All right, this is Harry's house. Let's grab our shovel. It should be buried right here. No, it should be buried <laughs> right here. There we go. All right, let's take Harry this time capsule and see what he had stuck into it. Are you watering the flowers, Harry? Thanks, man. That's super helpful. Well, well, if it isn't my good pal, Marilee. So did you need something? Yeah, capsule time. Hurrah! Thanks! Alright, why don't we go ahead and open it then? Ta-da! See? My absolute favorite twinkle tank! Hooray! There's also a letter! Cool! Hey, future Harry! It might be time to retire this outfit. Well, I'll let it sit in the time capsule for now. Maybe I'll come back to it and really love it again in the distant future. Probably not. From past Harry. I don't know, it sounded like you liked it. This is a bit embarrassing. I should have put a bit more thought into writing it, huh? I'll give this to you as a thank you. So here you go. One recently dug gift. A twinkle tank. Oh, I can't wait to see what that looks like. Thanks for your help with that craziness. I really appreciate it. Let's hang out again. Okay, so I thought we had a time capsule already. I think it was Bob yesterday asked me to bury another one. So apparently more than one villager can have a time capsule at, at the same time. So that's interesting. Let's see what this twinkle tank looks like. Oh, uh, it's all right. <laughs> we'll keep our cake dress on, though. We'll probably sell that. We just don't have room for more. Okay, let's take a quick zip down here to the museum to put this saber tooth model. I went ahead and picked it up from Cyrus. Oh, you know what? That reminds me. We have something else we need to pick up from Cyrus and put in the museum, too. So let's go grab that. Because we got another piece of the polka dot set and had it customized with the amethyst. So it is all finished and we just have to pick it up. And it looks super cool. Check it out. It's shiny. It's starry. I love it so much. <laughs> we'll take it home. Thanks, Cyrus. Alright, our villagers have been filling this place up again too, which is cool because it's handy to come there when they ask for stuff for their house. Though I have been carrying a few things around with me, just in case. And I actually have, yeah, a little pile of stuff. Oh, including a fortune cookie that someone gifted us. We've been trying to get together with as many friends as possible before the service goes down in a week or two. I think it's just over a week now. So we've been checking out each other's towns and playing games together on Tortimer's Island. It's been a lot of fun. So I think we're going to put it, and by it I mean the saber tooth model. I think we're going to put it in this room, which I can't remember if I showed you guys the um, mermaid wall and floor. They, they were on sale on Tortimer's Island one of the times I went over, so I went ahead and got them. But there it is, our little saber tooth model. Made with the skull and the torso. <laughs> and we've actually added a couple of Gulliver items since as well, like this little tuk-tuk from Thailand, which is super fun. And I brought the little hat from Vietnam in here as well to be displayed uh, out of our storage. So that's cool. Now we're going to take this purple piece and let me grab something out of the closet real quick. That makes it easy to find. 
Yeah, so because we had the polka dot bed customized as well and it makes it really easy to find in the storage because it turns into this yellow leaf when you get it customized with the ore. So that's been super helpful. We're going to move this little tea time thing out of the way a little bit. I moved this from the house over here. There's just so many things. We've been getting so many things and I just don't have room. So we'll put our little polka dot bed over here that's been customized with the amethyst. And then we'll put down our little closet. And we're just keeping it here until we get some more room in our house so we can bring this stuff over. Because I think this set with this amethyst set is going to look super cool in a room in our house for sure. Alright, let's get going. Alright, we're going to take a run down here to our brand new guys. The, uh, <laughs> the, the Nook store has been upgraded. I got a notice a couple days ago, right after the last episode, actually, there was a notice on the bulletin board that it would be closed for a day to be upgraded, and that day was yesterday. So here we are with a brand new TIY, which includes Leaf in his own separate little door there. And we can buy shrubs from him now, which is super exciting because we've been trying to get some of those for our island. I mean, for our town. And uh, we have been trying to buy them when we visit other towns when they're available. That little rack is super cute. And I would love to have this lovely lamp. You know what? Let's buy it just to catalog it. We might carry it around for a little while and then sell it back to Reese later. Uh, who knows? One of the villagers might go for it. All right, let's um, eat this fortune cookie that was gifted to us. There was a fortune inside. He who stubs his toe is he who remembers his feet are there. Interesting. Well, we definitely haven't seen that one before. Let's see what Timmy's going to give us for that. I got a lucky ticket. It's right here. Number six. Oh, I'm sorry to say, but number six is not a winner. Please accept this science table as a consolation prize. Oh, well. <laughs> it's cool that you still get something anyway. Just not a rare item. That's okay. A science table is another thing we have have cataloged then. Ooh, maybe we should catalog this too. That's pretty cool. The striped sofa. Oh, we'll take it, but we got to make some money back. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we need to do some, some fruit selling. So let's go and get that done. Except I did want to show you Leaf's little spot today. Here it is. So cute. And he has his little shrubs for sale. A holly start. Um, we're not going to buy holly right now. Actually, I'm not going to buy either of these right now. Just because I think... Oh no, we do have room in our pockets. Well, let's see what this other one is. A sweet olive. I'm not really 100% sure what that one looks like, but we're going to buy it because I bought one yesterday too. Uh, wait, did I buy one yesterday? Yeah, I think I did, but it was in someone else's town. <laughs> because this shop was still closed yesterday. Okay, I've already checked into Abel's too. And there was nothing good today. So we're going to go sell some things. Ooh, our perfect oranges. I put a perfect orange tree on the corners of our little pl uh, train station area here. Oh, we got a dig spot there. So let's shake down these perfect oranges too. But I think we're going to have to come back and get them in a few minutes. Because our pockets are pretty full. So let's go see what we can sell to Reese. We might go ahead and sell some of the stuff that I was kind of holding on to. Just because we do want to, we want to get the roost paid off because, you know, we need our coffee. <laughs> okay, what can we sell here? We're going to sell these lemons. We're going to sell the striped sofa, the tulip tea, the twinkle tank, the science table. We'll go ahead and sell these other things too. I think it's kind of funny that we sell, um, oh, I need that wrapping paper for something. That we we just bought that mini circuit from Reese earlier today. We're just gonna sell it back to her. But you know what? That's all right. All right. Let's actually check the little board here and see what the uh, extra bells item today is. Sand dollar. So we will want to go and collect our seashells as well. 
we're just gonna gather this fruit. I thought it would be a great idea to have this orchard just right here next to uh, retail so we can just gather it up and take it right in. I have to stack it. Might have to put a few things down for a minute. We have so many tools now, they take up so much space. So I'm just gonna come down to this spot here and leave our little shrub. We're gonna drop this axe too and the wrapping paper. Because we don't need to carry those with us right this minute. We do, however. Oh no. See, I shouldn't have put these right up against the path. We're gonna lose so many of these. All right, let's get these mangoes. Maybe I just won't shake those ones on the front. Now, these baskets of fruit that are sitting here, we're keeping to plant somewhere else. Did one of those lemons go back here? Yes, it did. Okay. We might get a couple of them. We might have to... Well, no, we can't move the path down now because I put this... I put these bushes on the corners. I guess we could... We could still have it come down a little bit. We might have to do that so that we don't lose our fruit every time because we definitely need the bells from the fruit. All right, let's grab these perfect oranges. Get these lemons stacked up in our pockets. I know <laughs> that gathering fruit is not the most exciting thing in the world, but it is part of what we're doing here on Lorian to get the money so we can open a cafe which totally is exciting today from 5 p.m all items in the store will be unbelievably half price oh too bad we didn't read that before <laughs> we're gonna erase that today marks the grand opening of tiy and on March 31st, Zipper T Bunny will be arriving in Lorien. So grab your tools and head to the plaza for a fun day of surprises. I can't wait for that. I'm so excited. It'll be our first bunny day in New Leaf. My first bunny day in New Leaf. Maybe not yours, but this, um, <laughs> this will be my very first bunny day in the game of New Leaf. So I'm super excited about it. All right, let's get back here and see if we can get this other fruit. And, oh, see, we didn't plan this very well for fruit harvesting. We're going to grab these apples, but I, I can't shake those cherries down because I feel like they're all just going to disappear. Oh, pocket's full. Not really full. We just got to stack things up. Okay, here we go. Some more apples, and we'll go get the rest of those lemons. And then we'll see... Uh-oh, I just kicked up the path. Better replace that. There we go. Okay, let's get these apples stacked up. Got nine of those. And, oh, did we get all the lemons over here already? What else do we have? Uh, we got another lychee tree back here. We might clear out some of these trees in this area, depending on what other decorations we decide to do around Brewster's Cafe here. And I think we have some peach trees, which also I may have <laughs> planted in a funny way so that we're not going to get all of them. Oh well, we're doing the best we can over here. Oh, I did have to shake some peaches down yesterday because I can't remember who it was. It might have been Wart Jr. asked for a peach to eat. So we shook those down and sold the extra two yesterday after we gave him one to snack on. Ooh, we should grab an orange though and go down and see if Dr. Shrunk is telling jokes today. So we can get a new emotion. Cool, 14,600 bells is a good start uh, that put us at 70,000 total in our pocket 
Let's go ahead and grab this orange and run up there to Dr. Shrunk before I forget that we should do that. And somewhere over here, didn't we see a dig spot? Where was that? Up here? Yeah, if there's a fossil there, we might as well take it to Blathers so we can sell that too. Since we're running up to Main Street again. Do you guys play this way with all the running back and forth? Alright, let's check in with Dr. Shrunk. Hopefully we'll be able to get another positive emotion. I would love to get the one where you get the little heart over your head. I, I just like that one. Uh, we're not open for the day yet. Is there something you needed? I brought a snack. Oh, really? That makes me so happy. What did you bring me? Brought you an orange. Nice juicy orange. Wow, it looks big. <laughs> an orange? Don't mind if I do. That was quite satisfying. Thanks a bunch. I should probably return the favor now, shouldn't I? Then how about I tell you a really good joke today? I have to get ready first, so you just wait right here a sec. Thank you, thank you. Dr. Shrunk is in the house. My showmanship joke is just the thing to cure what ails you. You know, back when I first made my debut, there was a catchphrase I always used during every show. It was back when all I could think about was getting people to actually remember my name. Today I'll share that catchphrase with you, so listen carefully. Keep your eyes on me and remember it. Are you ready? Here I go. Look at the hunk. His name is the Shrunk. <laughs> it didn't win me any fans for some strange reason. <laughs> okay. So yeah, what do you think? I think this is the first time you've seen my showmanship joke. It is. Now you can add one more joke to your joke book. All right, cool, let's see. Oh, whoops, Um, here we go. <laughs> There's so many buttons. Here it is. Nice, that's a good one. <laughs> cool, it's always fun getting a new little emotion. Is that what we call them? Emotions? Reactions. That's what it is. Ta-da! Alright, let me just run this fossil in and I'll be right back. Cool. It was a packy tail and we already had it in the museum so we get to sell it, which is exactly what we wanted. Let's switch over to something we can hold while shaking trees. We'll run down to the beach, pick up our bananas and our seashells, and get those sold and make a payment. We'll split it half and half again like we have been doing between our loan payment and the roost. And sadly, <laughs> my blue pansy that I had down here uh, has disappeared. I think it was wilted yesterday and I forgot to come down here and check on these flowers that are down here on the beach. So our blue pansy has gone away but I've been watering some of the white ones so that we can get another blue one and keep trying to make purple. We did pick up a few hybrids uh, from, from other islands that were kind enough to share, but the purple pansies, I don't know, something about those. It's a little special and I really want to be able to make those myself. So that's what we're working on. Ooh, a lot of cowrie shells today. We need sand dollars. <laughs> Let's grab these bananas. Put them in the basket. And we have three more spaces. One two and three we'll come grab the rest in a minute i did see that we got a pink lily down here though which is super cool and we do have some more bananas to plant also that was another six thousand bells so we're getting uh i think that gave us seventy six thousand now It'd be really cool if we could get up to 100,000. I don't know if we're going to get that high. We did have two sand dollars in that lot. 
Uh, so we got a little extra for those. Oh, and we had a camper the other day too. Who was it? I'm trying to remember. Nope. I <laughs> can't remember. Oh no. Um, let's see here. How much pocket space do we actually have? All right, we'll go ahead and drop these off with Reese and then run down to the other beach and get the rest of the shells. Were any of those sand dollars? Ooh, four of them. Nice. A little extra for those. It's it's going up ever so slowly. <laughs> We're up to 79,000 bells. I think it was Bob that had me bury a time capsule again. What's up, Cole? Hey, I had an idea. How about commissioning a camping cot in town? I'm sure everyone would love it, including you, Bell M. Will you think about it, please? We'll think about it, Cole, but I don't think that's going to be near the top of the list. We, uh, we got a coffee shop to finish, and then I don't know what we're going to do after that, but... Let's see, we got a few shrubs down here. Another gift from friends. It's been super fun having everybody coming around. Let's grab these seashells. And look, we've decided to uh, start placing some of these shells on our ramp. Wait a minute. <laughs> do we want to do that? The sea snails I don't mind, but we might steal this one and replace it later because that one's worth a fair amount. Okay, let's go and sell these. But we've seen that in several dream addresses where people had seashells placed up their ramp to the beach and I just thought it was a fun idea and uh, thought maybe we should get on all that too. Alrighty, well that put us just over 80,000 bells. So what we're going to do is we're going to go pay 40,000 on the roost. And then we'll go pay 40,000 on our home loan. And then we'll get going over to a dream address that was provided by one of our viewers in the Discord. If you would like to share one of yours that we can visit in the next week and a half before the service shuts down. Please do hop in there and let me know. Okay, we still owe 116,000. So let's put in our 40,000 here. Which leaves us with 76,000 to go and in a little bit. Uh, not too bad. We should be able to do it maybe by the end of this week if I'm diligent. And don't spend all my time playing games on Tortimer's Island. <laughs> Jump into the post office here. And see how much we still owe. I think we had it down to 100 even. So if we take 40,000 off, that should leave us with 60. 60,000 to go. Not too bad. And then I'm not sure. It kind of seems like we might get a choice of what room we want next. Uh, from what I've seen in dream addresses and other places that we've gone to, it does seem like not everyone has the same next room. So I don't know if we get a choice or not. We're going to find out. But let's go do this dream address. And this one is from Sina23 over in Discord. Thank you so much for sharing your dream address for us to enjoy. I'm going to put the number in here in just a minute so you can join along or visit it later if you like. Let's see, perhaps you'd like a little advice on how to fully relax while here. What? Did we ask her a question or something? No, thank you. We just want to visit a dream. Oh, right, because we don't talk to her. We just have to get in the bed. Yep, I forgot how this works already. <laughs> Show me a dream. Ooh, good thing we have at least 500 bells left. I always forget that it costs money to do the dreams here. Okay, so we already know the dream address for the town we want to visit. And I don't think they put the name of the town in the Discord. So we are 
going to be surprised with the name. <laughs> and that number is 6E0001F55427. Beirut. Okay. Uh, yes, I guess that's where we're going. <laughs> Okay, guys, I just took a second to look that up, and I was saying it totally wrong. It's German, and it's pronounced Bayreuth. So that is where we're going. Ooh, pretty already. Look at that. And it's cherry blossoms. Welcome to the world of dreams. Right now you're having a dream of a sleepy town called Bayreuth. When you want to return to the real world, please come back to this bed. <laughs> she always says the world of stress. That's a strong assumption. I mean, there are stresses, but maybe we don't all live in a world of stress. <laughs> and it's nighttime. Look at the twinkling stars. We have falling cherry blossom petals. It's beautiful already. Let's check out this tree. Nice and tall and strong. I think this might be the first time that I've seen one of these trees with the pink blossoms on it, which is super cool. Very nice patterns they have around. Beautiful job already. I like this path. Oh, and we've got some little rocks. This looks like uh, the same rock pattern that we're using in Lorien right now, actually. We have that in a few places. But we've got some nice blue roses here in one of these cute little planter boxes that I... It, is one of the public works projects and it's so cute and blue roses so we know somebody's been hard at work here because those are not an easy one to get in any of the games <laughs> and we have Reese's shop here with of course a path coming right up to it and lots of pretty flowers hybrids of course and little blooming bushes we have Wendell here. We might talk to him a little bit later. Here's another public works project. This nice trellis. Such a pretty item with the little purple flowers hanging down. And surrounded by violets, which are my favorite flower in the game. So I love this area so much. And look at this little... Oh, that is so cute! Oh, they've purposely saved this. So this tree is little... <laughs> right in the middle of that spot that looks so adorable I love that such a nice little spot with the pear trees behind oh so cute all right what else do we have if we keep going here whose house Flo's house uh, Flo is a penguin, right? I think so. Alright, we're crossing a nice brick bridge here. I see some bamboo coming into view. We've got a pretty street lamp here with lots of pink and white flowers to go with these beautiful pink trees. We've got Mayel over here. Let's talk to her for a minute. Who are you? Where am I? <laughs> Wait, I'm in my hometown, Bayreuth, and you're a guest, right? Well, have a good time here, duckling. Oh, she called us duckling. That's so cute. She got a heart on her shirt. I think she does. And here's Luna. Thanks. This is our host, I think. Uh, is there just... Oh, no. There's three houses here, so I'm not 100% sure which one is the mayor. But, um, cute hair. <laughs> and I love... Okay, I love the tennis shoes with the skirt outfit. That's just awesome. <laughs> Alright, who else do we have? Kid Cat! Aw, I love Kid Cat. And, oh, there's Mayel's house. Okay, she has a cute little house. I like her little fence. That's adorable. And she's got some orange tulips around the house here. And here is our lovely flower clock surrounded with some of the same flowers that you see in the center there. Very nice. That looks really good. And Kiki's house! Okay, we have to go in and say hi to Kiki. I've been tempted with everyone, but we definitely have to talk to Kiki. <laughs> this is our first time meeting, isn't it? I hope you have lots of fun visiting Byright, kitty cat. And she's got a little fun Bowser flag in here. Now, I don't know what her house originally looks like. <laughs> the little typewriter is super cute. 
All right, bye Kiki. What a dear. Okay, let's just take a look at the map for a minute because the way they have these houses arranged, I don't know if it was on purpose because I, I, apparently you can spawn them in certain places on purpose, but it makes kind of a nice cute little neighborhood here. Let's see if there's a path going down to this other house. Nope, we just have to sneak over here. And whose house is this with the blue and white pansies? Sprinkle's house, okay. So another penguin. Cute, and here we have the rose arch. Look at this. There's a little fountain plaza here surrounded by roses. And I love how the pink is just kind of carrying throughout the island to match those cherry blossoms. That is so pretty. What a nice little spot. And and the bushes, like on, in the middle of the little, uh, I don't even know what to call that, waterway, in the middle of the little waterway. That just looks so cute. And who's this? Kiwi! Hey, you're not from around here, are you? You're from Orion? Never heard of it. But whatever, I'm gonna go ahead and say that it's okay you're here and welcome, little dude. <laughs> well, thanks. Appreciate it. Okay, so we saw all that. We have a nice pretty wooden bridge here. I'm gonna hop over. I'm gonna try to see everything, try to make sure we see everything. Now, there's some black roses across here, and those look really nice in with the red and white and the cherry trees. What a pretty little area. Every everywhere here is like so well thought out. Very, very nice. Whose house do we have here? Peewee's house. There it is. Okay, so he's not far from his house. And here we have another statue surrounded with this nice path and a little place you can come here and sit and enjoy. The falling cherry blossoms and the lighthouse with some orange flowers around to match. Like I said, very well thought out here. <laughs> very nice. Oh, and look at that view. I mean... Couldn't you just sit here forever with that lighthouse and the stars in the background? Love it. Okay, moving on. <laughs> We're moving on now. What do we have here? A little police station and here's the weather station. Let's see what's going on. Let's see here. Looks like the weather's gonna stay nice. Cool. And we have our little blue, lots of blue flowers around the weather station there, which is fun. Oh, little persimmon tree there. So definitely a lot of work has gone into this town. Oh, I see lights. And here's the roost. Look at the little sign. That's so adorable. <laughs> so cute. It's too bad it doesn't let us go inside the roost in a dream. Closed 24 hours. Oh, with a little bench next to it across the pond. That's such a nice place to sit too. We've got some, some of the tropical fruit trees over here down this pathway with another wooden bridge and that's leading just down to that same spot with the, um, with the fountain, which is super nice. We're going to look around just a little bit more and then we're going to check out the houses. There's three of them to look at. Oh, look at this street light. I have not seen one like this before. That's kind of cool. Like a little more modern of one. And here is the train station with even a little... Uh, water feature up here, which is super cute. Let's just take a look. The dreamy town of Bayreuth. And there's the dream address again in case you need it. It'll be in the description as well. If you want to visit this beautiful little town. Oh, and here is the town hall, which is the modern version. And look at that flag. A little bunny in the roses with a rainbow behind. How adorable. <laughs> We're definitely going to have to talk to Wendell. Okay, and the little topiary here. Did we go all the way across the top here? Okay, so the plaza is there and that's where we started out. So we got another topiary on the other side with a little bit of a different shape. Super cute. Here's Wendell. <laughs> Let's just see what, what he's offering. Um, okay, so it's the little cute little Brewster sign you can get if you visit this dream address. Or one that says Star Duck Coffee, which is super cute also. 
and I'm not sure what this is, but it looks like it might be some kind of outfit as a pro design. All right, really cute. Let's look, I think there was a little bit, uh, I wanted to go actually down the other side of the lighthouse and check out the beach for just a second. See if they have anything on the beach. Oh, look at that. They got the little picnic over here. Such a cute thing <laughs> with the lights leading into it. And they've created like a little area here with the roses surrounding. It's a super cute and overlooking the beach, which does look like it's also decorated up. So we're going to go check that out now. Lots of flowers down here. And these may just be extra flowers. I don't know. They don't seem super arranged, but it is nice to come down to the beach and see some pretty flowers when you're walking around. So there is quite a few. And they have them by color, seems like. Oh, purple pansies. <laughs> or are those blue? I can't, it's hard to tell in the, uh, in the moonlight. Okay, so let's make our way back up. And we'll start checking out the houses now. I think we've seen just about everything outside. I hope we haven't missed anything. And if we have, I hope we see it between the houses. All right, so we're going to go past the statue again. Our first house is right down here. Oh, look at this. We've got some gold roses around a little heart stump. Super cute. Oh, we've got another friend here. Thanks. <laughs> Okay, let's check out this first house. This one's got a nice stone exterior with a pretty simple gray roof and the Zen wall surrounding it. And blue roses. Oh wow, look at that floral wall. I have not seen those. Wait a minute, can you get Cyrus to customize floors and walls? That's very interesting. So it looks like they have um, part of the Rococo set in here, customized to pink. And I think that's a regal bed there. So that's a really nice room. We've got a lovely bed stuck in the corner over here. Oh, and the little balloon dog lamp, super cute. That's a fun little addition in here. Oh, look at the little, is that a clock? That is super cute. I haven't, oh, it is a clock. Look at that. I have not seen that item yet. Uh, there's so many items in this game that I haven't seen yet. <laughs> But, oh wow, everything's so pretty in this room. Okay, let's check out the rights. Oh, nothing in here yet, except a few little balloons. It does look like this might be a newer house. I don't see a back room yet. We'll see if there's anything on the left. Ah, the rest of the balloon set. <laughs> or more of it, anyway. Got the little vanity, the TV, the bed, and the clock on the wall, and this fun floor. So that's fun. Uh, but yeah, I know uh, Sina, I think it is, and I hope I'm saying that correctly, uh, has been working diligently on their island to get it ready for this dream. So I do appreciate them sharing it for us to come and look at. All right, let's head over to the next resident house, which is going to be right over this bridge, past this beautiful little fountain area. And we have it right here. So this one's, uh, nope, nope. <laughs> That's a villager house. Hello. All right. I didn't go far enough. Here we go. Here's a friend. Here's Sina. Okay. Sweater weather. And look at her cute little, is that like a kimono? That is adorable. I feel so underdressed in my PJs. We've got the pretty lamps in front of the house. So we definitely didn't walk around this part because they've got like a, a zen... Uh, sand garden situation going on around here. You know what? I think we missed a whole section with the bamboo here. So what is this thing? I don't, I haven't seen this either. Is this another bell? It is. Or a gong. Some kind of... Oh, that's so cool. Yeah, they have like a whole little zen bamboo forest garden thing going on over here and I love it. This path is so cool with the big stones in it. Oh, look at that. What a nice, peaceful place to be. And here's the little Zen garden. 
Uh, Public Works Project, which is another so cute item that I hope we get to build one day. Such a nice little spot around the house. Wow, who wouldn't want to live here? So they do have like the Zen exterior with the gold roof there and the red door and look at that fence. I don't think I've seen that one yet either. So that looks really cool and goes perfectly with the area surrounding it. Let's go check out the inside. All right, we've got a glockenspiel right inside the door. <laughs> okay, uh, I do see a couple Gulliver items here. And we've got the little frog. Got a Wii U over here. <laughs> Those are fun. I haven't tried the game on the Wii U yet, but I did get the little 3DS in game and I have been so addicted to Animal Crossing Puzzle League. Yeah, so addicted. Um, so we've got the little lotus lamp here, which is a perfect fit for the zen feeling. Got the shoji wall, I think that is. Oh yeah, everything in here just goes perfectly together. The tatami floor, the screen. Very, very nice. Alright, let's check the right side room. Pink! <laughs> Someone on this island definitely likes pink. Right, we've got a little pink dollhouse. We've got the pink... Uh, is that the princess dress from Gracie Grace? I want to say it is. Got some of the sweets furniture in here and um, a little buffet table, which is super fun. It looks like a little tea party going on. Got some cream and sugar and that lovely kitchen is just so cute. Oh, we've got the little snowman in the corner. I love that so much. That's such a fun little item. We missed out on that this winter. We'll have to try to get it next one. Let's see. Actually, I think these little ottomans are pieces of the sweets furniture too in this game. It's supposed to look like a marshmallow maybe. And this bookshelf is also uh, the like the little wafer biscuits. <laughs> cookie cookie wafers. Um, so yeah, nice mix of sweets furniture and lovely furniture in this room with the little teddy bears in the corner having a conversation. That is super cute. All right, let's check out what's back here. Ah, oh, we have the Princess series from Gracie Grace. And who doesn't love this set? I've been collecting this set in City Folk. It's been super fun. Of course, there are more pieces to it in this version. And look at the cute little cup of coffee on the table. Oh, I love that so much. And they got some pink roses in here for a nice touch. And that's a cool clock, too. And they have the bed over in the corner. Yeah. Quite a bit. Oh, and the little wandering uh, seashell that you can get from Pascal's RV, I believe, in the campsite. And the little bird. I love the little bird. So that's a really nice room. That princess set always looks good. And we've got more lovely furniture. Very cool. Oh, look at the little donuts. And more teddy bears, too. Aw, that's so sweet. Oh, <laughs> I thought we could press that and run away, but it didn't let us. I think this is the lovely wall as well. Our lines are very busy at the moment. Please hang up and try your call again later. We will. Okay, and here is the non-snowman matryoshka, that, which is such a fun little item. And uh, I'm not sure, but I think that one can be customized too. So I'm not sure if that one is customized or if that is the, the way it comes. <laughs> oh, I just noticed on the way by that they had the uh, graduation gown next to the door there. I wonder if that has some significance. It's a cute little winter sweater. For the sweater weather that they mentioned outside. Looks like they're doing some collecting down here. We've got some Gulliver items. A few random pieces of furniture. I see a few RV items. And of course a nice collection of fruit. Oh, and some art too. And this wall. I love this wall. This is so cool. Alright, what is that? Like some little sneakers on the floor? Little high top sneakers or something. Those are super cute. And some villager photos as well. 
Okay, here we go. We got some more of the Rococo furniture, which looks so nice with this wall. So this must be a Rococo wall, I'm guessing. It goes with the set. So they've got it in a brown variation here, which is nice. But I, um, is this, this might be like the way it comes or the pieces that Wisp has given me came in this color, I believe, but it looks so pretty in every color I've seen it in. So that's a fun collection to do. And this of course is the Cupid bench, which is a Valentine's Day items in the Animal Crossing games, or at least in City Folk in this one. We never did get it in New Horizons, which was too bad. Um, and they have a fun little collection of gyroids over here. They are just slowly singing a nice little song. Yeah, sometimes you get too many gyroids and it gets a little annoying, but this is, they're doing some very nice little noises there. So another nice room. We almost missed this pretty picture on the wall there. Uh, I don't know if that's part of the Baroque set, but it sure is pretty. <laughs> okay, guys, we're going to take a few more minutes and check out the last resident home on the, in the town. Oh, look at this. So I saw this the other day on a dream island and called it the Eiffel Tower and one of you uh, very graciously corrected me. This is actually the Tokyo Tower, which is modeled after the Eiffel Tower, but it is a little bit different and it's red, so uh, easily identifiable. But that's another uh, public works project that is just so cool to see, especially at night when it's lit up like this. Awesome. All right, so I think this is the last resident house and there's one more villager down here next to them. Rudy, oh, Rudy's a sweetheart. Okay, so they've got some wood paneling and a pretty wrought iron fence looks like and uh, the, <laughs> the mermaid door. So that's an interesting combination there with some black roses around the outside. Let's see what that one looks like inside. It does look like a newer house. And we have some of the fishing tourney items here, looks like. A little bit of a collection in here. Uh, looks like that, I think that might be, is that a fishing turn? No, that's not the fishing tourney wall. I'm not sure where that wall is from. But I think this is the mermaid floor. Oh, I don't know. So hard to tell. I'm so unfamiliar with everything in this game. But look at this fun little sloppy dresser over here. So this house looks like a little bit of a collection. No upstairs or downstairs or extra rooms yet. Oh, look at this cool lamp. That is so fun. Yeah, fun little collection here. And look at that dress too. I haven't seen that either. It, it has some Cinderella vibes. But um, yeah, oh, so fun. Alrighty. Well, guys, I think we've seen just about everything there is to see on this dream tour. Thank you so much again to Sina for sharing your dream address with us so we can experience this. Your town is absolutely beautiful and it was a pleasure to run around and look at it. I hope you all enjoyed it as well. If you did, please take a moment and click the like button. And if you're enjoying this Animal Crossing New Leaf series, be sure to click subscribe as well so you can join us for the next one. And guys, don't forget, if you have a dream address that you'd like me to tour, you can find me on Discord or Instagram. The links are in the description and I would love for you to share that with me so I can share it with everyone. All right, friends, I will see you in the next one. Have a beautiful day.